Oh my God, Karen. Wow. Warning, warning. Oh, a title warning. You know, I said I was gonna feature this gal and I wasn't kidding. What are you doing? What, what is it exactly that you are doing? What is it you think that you are doing? By posting a warning, warning, title warning. Oh, th this video is about ice cream and alcohol and his addictions. That's it. That's all she got out of it. What in the fuck is wrong with people? What is wrong with people? That they gotta, they gotta do stuff like that. I mean, you know, there's a few hundred great comments. I, I would consider a great comment anybody who says that I'm awesome. <laughs> but you're right. I mean, really, I am. <laughs> oh, well, maybe not that awesome, but you know. So I, I just, I can't, I just simply cannot understand why someone would need to even post that. You know, maybe she's a, a member of her HOA who is always up in everybody's business. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now listen, this is chicken little carnivore because I eat very, very little chicken. And there's this little boy. So he was sitting on the porch of the old country store. This is back when, uh, back when they had the, the old country stores. He was sitting there and he had a big old five pound bag of chocolate. He's just mowing on it. You know, he's about six or seven years old. He's just mowing on this bag of chocolate, right? And that uh, old man walks up and sees him. Just He's got chocolate everywhere, man, on his hands and his face and his clothes. He's got it everywhere. Old man just looks at him, shakes his head and walks into the store, gets his bag of flour and bag of sugar and his coffee and comes back out and there's that little boy just sitting there mowing on this chocolate you know and, and the old man can't help himself he got to speak up he says little boy he says you know eating all that chocolate that's not good for you little boy looked up at him and said my granddaddy lived to be a hundred years old the old man just smiled shook his head and he said for me eating chocolate and that little boy without missing a beat said no sir for minding his own damn business that's a fact. I don't know if that happened, but it seems to me people really, if you don't have something nice to say, why do you even exist? I mean, you don't find this honestly a lot in the carnivore community. You really, really don't. All right. Um, but wow, man, I guess just some people, they just, it's ingrained in them to be a fucking Karen, you know? Um, Probably a liberal Democrat. I don't know. I don't care. But I know that those people, man, the, the, the hardcore liberals, they're fucked up. The hardcore conservatives are fucked up too. And I like a middle ground because I just view the, the blue and the red like they're the two heads of the same damn snake, right? So, uh, you know, when the people start electing the president, that might change things a little bit for me. But until then, yeah, no. So, um, I, I did some research on iodine. Okay. I asked chat GPT because I'm not smart enough to figure out how much iodine is in one drop of the 2% iodine solution that I got. And, uh, chat GPT said there's one milligram. And I said, Oh, okay. So that makes sense to me. Okay, and then, and by the way, there's 2.5 milligrams in one drop of the 5%, but I've got the 2%. So, um, so what I'm, what I'm going to do is, well, what I did was two days ago, I did five drops in the morning. I did 10 drops yesterday morning. I did 10 drops this morning. I'm going to do that through Sunday. Then I'm going to raise it to 15 drops. That's, that's 15 milligrams. They're really recommending 25 milligrams to 50 milligrams. So I don't, if you're, if you're doing iodine, which I, I apparently everyone needs to be doing iodine, uh, a lot <laughs> because I guess we're all extremely lacking in iodine. A lot of cancers come from that. And so, um, you know, it's been five days since I had any ice cream today. 
uh, five days, and oh my God, I'm completely cleared up. Like I was breaking out of my nose in this upper part of my face right here all the time. I'm completely cleared up, completely. I'm not bloated at all. I feel just amazing. Um, I think the iodine has something to do with that too because I do feel a little different. I don't know what it is. can't put my finger on it. But, um, but yeah, just I, now I'm not eating just beef. I was going to eat just beef, but uh, I get a little hungry, man, around 9, 30, 10 o'clock uh, in the morning. Of course, I've been up since 1 in the morning, so... But I get a little hungry, so I, I bought sardines in water. Uh, I was going to get tuna in water, but guess what? Every single tuna in water on the shelf has vegetable broth in it. Or some other chemicals. Shit you can't fucking pronounce, right? Okay, if you can't pronounce it, you shouldn't be eating it. The way I look at it, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I've been wrong before. But I don't think I'm wrong about this. So, um... So anyway, I uh, uh, some mackerel and some salmon that were just in water, water and salt. And I said, okay, I can do that. I can do water and salt. So that's it. Uh, you know, if you need to pause the first part of the video, go back and re read what Karen wrote because it's just disgusting. It's disgusting. And by the way, that was on Dave Max video, which has over 10,000 views. That's amazing all by itself. Um, but, you know, he did his due diligence and he, he got rid of that comment. But guess what? I screenshotted that shit before. <laughs> so it's part of the video now. Guess what? It's permanent on the Internet right now. This is Chicken Little. And I'm out. Thank you.